Welcome back, Mike, this is Michael Scott, for the third instalment of Mountain Zine's mural candidate web videos. Do you think there are too many staff at Queenstown Lakes District Council and its council controlled organisations? Um, well, to be perfectly honest, looking from the outside and um, with a lot of the dealings I've had with council, especially with the engineering side of it, they have actually been understaffed, so it's something that could be looked into over the whole broad spectrum, but at this stage from looking in, people say there is, but I personally don't think there is. Christchurch Mayor Bob Parker has announced if he's re-elected, he'll formally open secret meetings to the public. Will you follow suit and do the same down here? <laughs> Bob, he's going to be pretty easy to get in, isn't he? Um, well, as I've always said from the word go, I'm going to op be open and honest and approach, and there'll be things that will need to be discussed behind closed doors to start with, but there'll be transparency and people are more than welcome to listen in. And finally, how will you ensure the new council will be inclusive, that councillors feel their opinions will be heard and their votes worth something? That was a tricky one. Um, the council is here for the needs of the ratepayer um, and for the benefit of the whole region, just not a few. We're going to have to work as a team and as a one team. As we know, there is no iron team. Just work all in together and be here for our ratepayers and our, and our constituencies. So that's more or less all we will do.